Hey y'all, it's Zach, the legal tech advisor here at Lawyerist. Today I'd like to talk to you about document creation, document management, and court forms. Specifically, I'd like to talk to you about Leap Legal's integration with Office 365 and their court forms. Recently, I sat down with Leap's team and they showed me through a lot of the aspects and features that Leap has. Have a listen and see what you think. So our forms library is up here. If I open this up here, it's organized in folders, or you can even search out the name if you know a specific uh, form that you want, or you could just go through the folders. And I know I want to say, pull up a verified complaint. So here, I'm going to just open this. It's going to open up in Word. So we do have a, um, a just Beautiful down on. synchronization. <laughs> I was going to say integration, integration is the word I was trying to come up with. <laughs> integration with Word um, as well as Outlook. And what happens here is it's going to pull in all that information from those for, uh, from those fields. And you can see it set up the captions. It pulled in your docket information, obviously the client information and address. So the form is done. And of course, it's in Word, so it is a fully editable document if you wanted to make any changes. And from here, we do have our Leap toolbar that would be installed on the firm's um, Word. And from here, they could do things like save it right to the matter as a PDF, email it right from here. But the most important thing for cases where you're going to be recording your time is going to be time, save, and close. So what this will do is automatically record the amount of time we worked on this document, and it's going to pull up a billing slip. So you don't need to start and stop a timer. The timer automatically ran while we had that document open. When you're ready, now, of course, we know things happen. You got up and got another cup of tea, got a cup of coffee, took a call. You can, of course, adjust these manually for any reason that you might need to. So you know, we can come back here and make those changes. And then when I save it, the document shows up in my correspondence list. And up here in our time and fees tab, that document will show up here. So that time entry is there when we're ready to do our billing. Now, one of the things also that we do is not only do we have our forms library that our design and automation team will keep updated and um, ensure that you have the most current version of the forms. Firms can also automate their own forms. And we even provide training during our training sessions on how they can do this. So for example, if they wanted to automate their retainer letter, all of that can be done and stored in our forms library, in their own forms library for them to do that. I guess, Zach, one of the things that Jen is, is also showing you is the fact that you don't need any other software program to set up and automate and use the automated forms. It's right. all done within the new program. So, <laughs> so the, the attorney comes in, gets leap, and there is a, a, a certain amount of forms that are already created that are state specific um, or at least somewhat jurisdiction specific. Um, and I imagine it doesn't get down. So I, I practice in Tennessee and uh, our counties are very different from each other and with a lot of things. I imagine it doesn't get down to that sort of level, but it, it's more kind of on the, the, like New Jersey is going to be very different from Tennessee. And so it's, it would so. be that level, but not necessarily like, oh, hey, this random county out in the middle of of nowhere uh, tennessee no well, i know it can it, be. yeah it can be because in okay. pennsylvania the same thing each mm. county has their own forms each district so we do have forms in some of the you know some of their forms and we can always add additional forms in there if there are actual court forms yeah oh so I, when, I see the, these are these are the forms that the court has right that the court has said um you know it, these are solid divorce complaints right here here's a divorce complaint that we want to use in our in our mm -hmm. state okay so like for example tennessee has administrative office of the courts ha has approved certain court forms. Yes. okay that Something makes exactly. sense that makes sense and then the attorney can add additional any additional forms he or she wants yep. um that are in uh, word and make those exactly yeah, yeah. exactly and 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 just make life a little easier for themselves because, I mean, the reality is a lot of these attorneys have been practicing for years, years and years and years, and they do have their own way of wanting to word things, etc. Um, having said that, they can bring their own in, but they can also amend ours as well and just make it more to the way that they like them. 
Exactly. And it's a That's huge time saver. I mean, think about part of me. You're not going out to anywhere else to do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, keep going again. No, that's okay. I mean, it's just I'm passionate about the form. <laughs> it's not it is. I, I'm going to ask you a lot of questions about about forms because uh, document automation is kind of um, something I'm very interested in. Um, yeah. And I I assume that so these forms mm-hmm. do they they exist on the the person's computer or they exist in the cloud? In the They're cloud. in the cloud. Okay. Mm-hmm. So when I do a form. Um, how how solid of Microsoft Word's conditional formatting and things like that can I use with this? Because what I found is if I have a, it, so when I did collections, I used a program called JST that was installed on the, the uh, computer and mm-hmm. I could get a lot more done with conditional formatting than if I had a cloud-based um, system. Yeah. You're actually working, the beauty of Leap is that the, with the desktop version, you're actually working locally on yeah. the desktop. Um, once it's once it's saved and up, it, then it gets lifted up to the cloud. So okay. yes, you, you fully integrate it and the Microsoft Office applications, we want them to be installed as desktop applications as well, mm-hmm. so that they can do all of that. So you're right. Yeah. The, you know, when you go into our browser version, it, it doesn't necessarily have, because Word, it's the Word in the, you know, it's, Loud. it's the 365 right. mm-hmm. on, the, on the browser. It doesn't necessarily have all that back end. No, no, it, it so, doesn't. And it's not, yeah. you know, I, I've seen people um, really trying to kind of use that at this point for document automation and whatnot. And I, I think we'll get there. But right now, the, the more powerful automation, the more powerful is the um, desktop. You know, stuff is, yeah, is in that desktop mm-hmm. when you write your conditional formatting into your your, exactly. uh, your forms yeah. and whatnot. Okay. Without a doubt, without a doubt. And and look, we do have a very strong relationship with Microsoft. Um, so they we often get notified of all the updates and changes that are going ahead in advance so that our developers can work with making sure that any new security things that are coming through isn't going to, you know, immediately Good. change everything for our clients and drive everybody nuts. But yeah, yeah, no, we do have that. And that's the beauty of Leap being a hybrid is mm-hmm. that it is on the desktop, which means that they can work offline. Exactly. That goes down. And then it, once the internet comes back up, it all resets. resets. And the nice thing also is with working on your documents, if I wanted to reopen this document and make some edits, I don't have to download the document to my desktop to work on it, to re-upload it. I just click on it. Because again, it's integrated with my desktop version of Word. It reopens this document right here on my desktop. I don't have to download, re-upload. I can come in here and just say, oh, let's change this. It was 07, you know, let's change that. It was an error there. Mm -hmm. And then I can just save and close or save time on that. The nice thing also is I can actually then look at the history of changes of a document and see everything that has been done on that document. Okay. and verify those changes as well, which is a great feature. Yeah, so, so you guys have pulled in, I mean, y'all are using Microsoft Word pretty heavily. In mm-hmm. there, you know, using Absolutely. It. Okay, that's great. Very heavily. And I love the history of changes. I know a lot of the clients that I work with, they're all like, that's so cool. Cause then they don't have to sit there and say V1, V2, what were the yeah. changes? You can yeah. literally see it in a side-by-side comparison and it's highlighted. Here's the change, do you want to accept it? Yeah, and, and Microsoft makes that functionality there so you know go ahead and use it and so so, yeah i have trouble convincing people to use the uh the version control that microsoft has so yeah it's um, wonderful 